Risk sentiment stabilised this week as markets seemed more comfortable with the trade situation and geopolitical tensions cooled a little bit with the belief that Syrian airstrikes will be an isolated event. We saw an increase in risk appetite this week. The IMF released an upbeat outlook forecasting 3.9% global growth for 2018 and 2019 amid a broadening of this upswing and the commodity backdrop has rebounded throughout the month of April. This saw equities up and bond yields moved higher. This would normally be a supportive backdrop for the Aussie dollar, but the currency is held within fairly narrow ranges, perhaps as it had to negotiate a plethora of economic releases this week. Firstly, we saw the RBA minutes for the April meeting. The minutes contained few surprises, but there was a notable comment that members agreed that it was more likely the next move in the cash rate would be up rather than down. Now, we have seen the Governor make such statements in his recent speeches, so this shouldn't really be a surprise. The overall tone still highlights the gradual improvement expected by the bank, but that means they will require quite some time before they can be confident with this view. The next key focus will be the RBA's growth forecasts in their Statement of Monetary Policy to be published on the 4th of May. Next up, we saw the Australian employment data for March. We saw a below expectation 4,900 increase in employment, with the unemployment rate at 5.5%. Full-time employment fell by 19,900 and part-time employment rose by 20, almost 25,000. Along with this soft result, past employment results were also revised down with February, taken down to a negative 6,000. This ended the 16 consecutive months of job gains, and that adds to further evidence that momentum has come out of the employment market. So while the stellar pace of jobs growth we saw in 2017 wasn't sustainable, and 2018 has begun on a slower footing, the positive business conditions and economic activity still point to a year of decent jobs growth. Next week, we see the critical CPI release, with an expectation that inflation could continue to surprise on the low side. Westpac's forecast for the headline CPI is 0.5% for the quarter, holding the annual pace flat at 1.9%. And there is little sign of a broader lift in prices. Core inflation remains below the bottom of the RBA's target band, and with consumer goods still trapped in a competitive deflationary cycle, right now it is hard to see core inflation breaking much higher. Next week, we also see Q1 GDP in the US and the UK. As well as the economic data, we will be keeping an eye on bond markets. Yields have been rising and the US 10-year bond yields are getting close to that psychologically important 3% level. This is keeping investors on edge as the rise in yields in January this year saw quite a shakeout in risk appetite and global equities move sharply lower. Nevertheless, if we see an unthreatening CPI and this risk positive appetite is maintained, then the Australian dollar could move towards the high 78 cent level. We can talk about that next week.